on the way at 3.30, about seven or eight minutes from now. Going to be your next shot at $1,000. A chance for you to go fund yourself pretty much every hour, up to 16 times a day. Uh, five of which alone are on this show. So 3.30, your next shot to get $1,000. Um, if you want to text in here, 35192 for that. It is a different number than when we do the go fund yourself, so just keep that in mind. Invariably, somebody will always text me text me um, the prize word, and you're wasting that, and I don't want you to do that. I want you to have a shot at that money. So, Also, devotion to accuracy, Hooch does die in that movie, Turner really? and Hooch. Yeah, that's how I recalled it, too, because at the end, like he, he's got puppies or something, right? Oh. That's the big reveal, but okay. I think that... Uh, uh, you Hooch might be. Lives on. Uh, you might be thinking of uh, K Nine with Jim Jim Belushi, <laughs> the great film K Nine with Jim Belushi. Hooch dies. Really. I think it would be great to reboot Turner and Hooch, but it's about a guy named Turner who's an alcoholic. Oh, I see what you did there. Uh, Bill went to go see the movie Bombshell, where they do an amazing job. This is another Fox News. Uh, they did the the Showtime miniseries called The Loudest Voice. Uh, where Russell Crowe got in the fat suit to play Roger Ailes about the rise and fall of, of Fox News. and Or Roger Ailes, I should say. Fox this, News is still doing fine. Um, and then Bombshell, it's yeah. a, uh, uh, Charlize Theron plays Megyn Kelly, and it's uncanny what they do to her face. And it, it's John Lithgow is Roger she does Ailes. With yeah. her voice, with her movements. Yeah. It's like watching Megyn Kelly. Yeah. It is one of the Which greatest Which I'm never mad at watching Megyn Kelly. In any movie that I've ever seen. Really? Charlize Theron is incredible in that movie and all the performances are great the, the cast is so good Kate McKinnon's in it yeah Kate McKinnon's in it yeah. uh, Margot Robbie's in it Nicole Kidman and they are all fantastic uh, Lithgow was great even like smaller characters are played by people that you recognize uh, Richard Kind's in it he plays Rudy Giuliani can you yeah, give I, a well I was going through the IMDB and I talked about this briefly when the movie first came out like all of these big names are mm -hmm. playing Real people in this yeah. movie. Yeah. It's pretty uh, wild. I want to say Bo Bridges is playing Sean Hannity. There you go. I think in like. So, and, and they're like such good casting because they look like the people too. Yeah. Bill, the guy that plays Bill O'Reilly, I don't even know who it is. It looks like Bill O'Reilly. Yeah. Like that's Bill O'Reilly right there. <laughs> I, I, I saw it with uh, my buddy James, Movie Squad, and I'm like, I, are these the real people or yeah. are they using some sort of technology to make them look more Deep like fakes. it? Deep fakes. But it was incredible and it was a really well acted movie. And probably the scariest movie that I've seen this year. <laughs> it's a horror film. It really is. Yeah. It really is. I didn't realize Roger that... Ailes was terrifying. He was a monster, yeah. He was really... Because he wasn't just... I mean, he, he's a sexual deviant. He was very paranoid. And he used that to make a lot of money for people. That's and then another... also kind of put that into the... Like, to make that what people go to the news for like that's like he took that paranoid i'm scared of people that are different than me and he's like well that's an untapped market let's make a channel all about that well that's the great kate mckinnon line in that movie is that um hey if anything if it's something that'll make your grandma scared that's a fox news story or your grandpa angry angry yeah, yeah or your grandma scared i didn't realize i love john lithgow i've always loved him i didn't realize he spent so much time in northeast ohio oh really I yeah he went idea. to high school in lakewood and akron oh really? he's from rochester hey. new york but yeah he he spent his childhood out in yellow springs that's dave Chappelle country and then he yeah high and school john legend apparently john legend is from springfield too? ohio oh. he's from there yeah oh mm-hmm and, but um, it's it's an incredible movie, and I know they took some dramatic, you know, liberties liberties yeah. with it. But when you come, it comes down to it: the things that happened that we know are facts are just bananas. And they did one great scene where Gretchen Carlson had recordings of all the conversations, and. She, you didn't watch the Showtime. Mini I did series. watch that. Oh, you too, did. Yeah. Okay. Is it kind of the same story? I mean, it, it, it is, but it's 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 got a lot more Megyn Kelly, and it's got a lot yeah, more okay. of the women in it. Whereas, like the, the Showtime is, one, the show, Showtime one had a lot of Gretchen Carlson. This one had a lot more Megyn Kelly. Okay. This is about the women coming against him yes. for yes. sexual assault yeah. charges. Okay. Yeah. So it's like in the way she was able to play that, and you know, say like these are conversations that. We had, and he denied it all, and then later he finds out that 
this wasn't like his word versus uh, hers. It was recordings of him saying these things. The the way his like the light goes out of his face is incredible. Just such a good performance there, yeah. but also just like man, she did a great thing by she knew exactly how to play this guy and completely discredit him. I mean, to this day, Roger Ailes' widow says that those women were all lying. I mean, I guess you have to tell yourself that yeah. if that's yeah. what's, you know. But that's another guy, Roger Ailes, who, you know, for a lot of people in the news business, were forced to separate the art from the artist with mm-hmm. that guy, too. I mean, yeah. Rachel Maddow, you know, said he was always very nice to me when I was coming up, and he'd give me tips on mm-hmm. things. Now, granted, with all due respect, well, he knew Roger, he was talking Ailes, about Roger Ailes is not going to yeah. hit on Rachel Maddow, yeah. but... Um, yeah, he he knew the news biz, and he knew... And a lot of it takes place in Cleveland, because the first debate, or the, the debate where Megyn Kelly was moderating was in Cleveland, and so... He's, he got started here. He was a producer for Mike Douglas. And then there was the Republican National Convention, which, the more I think back about that day when Trump like accepted the nomination, I was in that building doing a sketch with Robert Smigel, and... It, like, all this stuff is going on, and it was just madness, and I, I really just, like, it was sinking in as I'm watching this movie. I'm like, oh, I was there yeah, when that was all when happening. Yeah, you that happened. That's crazy. It weird. It's very When you're, like, almost, a, not a proxy of it, but you're like, oh, man, like, oh, witness I of it. saw yeah. that person that day, probably. Yeah. Even just in passing, but you're like, yeah. that's crazy. In Because Roger Ailes is from Warren, mm-hmm. Ohio. So in the Showtime miniseries, he goes back to Warren after it's all, like, you know, bombed out, and he's he's getting some, like... I don't award, sort of award from the town yeah, yeah. of Warren. He's out there whipping up the rubes, mm-hmm. and you know, um, and then getting back into his limo. And his talking. paranoia was really disturbing. It's pretty wild. Paranoia, he, such as what? He thought people were out to get him, or what? Yeah, yeah. And like he, well, had, you are if you're doing something wrong. <laughs> but like, but it goes deeper than that. Like he, he and and like he would, fe- like he would let his paranoia go run rampant, and then let it permeate the people around him. Like, there's a scene in the movie where it's just after 9-11, and they had that, was it, scare at the New York Post with the anthrax? Yeah. And he was trying to get everybody, like, freaked out about that because it was, like, one floor above them. So he's like, oh, the New York Post upstairs, they had anthrax there, lock everything down, blah, blah, blah. And, and the Murdoch brothers, like the sons, had to shut him down and be like, hey, it's under control. You like getting people fired up. Right. Especially about things like that. It's real creepy. So it's a good movie. It's a great movie. Yeah, I'm, I wanted to go see that. Um, just haven't got around to it yet, but I'm totally going to go see it. it. It's it's very well done, and I it's one of those things where I know it's people that are into Fox News and stuff like that are like, oh, it's all biased, blah, blah, blah. But to see... like the, <laughs> It's the, not biased if they have recordings right, if they have of recordings the guy and all this stuff. being and also, a skeeve. And, yeah. and, and you know how people are selling Fox News as like, hey, we're trying to scare you. Like, we want you to be scared of these things, and it works, and they they get fired up about it. Yeah. Uh, but any nudity? Lithgow, take it off? Uh, you see <laughs> Roger Hill's <laughs> Beal. Ew. No, you don't see any nudity. All right. Because no. doesn't Mark Duplass play the husband in that one? Yeah, he does. And he does he's a good job, Megyn too. He's Megyn Kelly's husband, yeah? Yep, yep. Who was like a sports agent. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he's, he's good in it as well. Okay, one thousand. And nobody tries to like steal the scenes. Like everybody's playing their role as their r- character. Like Mark Duplass does, doesn't show up and go like, "Oh, well, now I'm in this movie, so let's make it about me." Like it was, it was. He plays really, her boyfriend's character. I, like who that. directed it? Because whoever directed it. Jay Roach. It, okay. The guy that made his money doing all the Austin Powers movies. Oh, you want, he did a talk, great job. Talk about a one eighty. <laughs> yeah, right. He's married to the hot chick from the Bangles. He he did a great job. Yeah, it was a great film. Uh, okay, $1,000 for you. As promised, you got a shot to go fund yourself every hour right now. Good luck. Hey, it's Rover. Go fund yourself. We have your shot at $1,000 now. Text the nationwide keyword CRAZY to the number 200-200. You'll get a text confirming entry plus iHeartRadio info, standard data and message rate supply in this nationwide contest. That's CRAZY to 200-200. Good luck and go fund yourself from 100.7 WMMS. Mar- uh, M- Margot Go Robbie is also an incredible actress. Margot Robbie. She's so beautiful, but she's also incredibly talented. Like, the way she can just make you, like, just make you feel what she's feeling through her performance is, in, is like, nothing I've seen. Like, that movie really, like, made me as uncomfortable as, like, a Saw movie. Yeah. 
Like, it really did. I know, it's just a funny comparison. Yeah. Well, because you know everything about it going in. Right. So well, you're like, oh, this is going to be gross. It adds that it's true. Like, yeah. those yeah. kind of movies where you're like, man, this dude said that. This person did that. Like, this is all real stuff. It's like, like the, did you see the movie Spotlight when that was out? Yeah, that was another one that was... About the Boston Globe uncovering oh. the Catholic Church uh, yeah. molesting all the boys oh, in Boston. No. And, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was a deep movie. That was insane. But again, these are movies with these ensembles that are so big that nobody's going to chew the scenery. You know, mm-hmm. they're all going to kind of go in and do their thing. and Do their thing and just... Because they're trying to tell that story and the story gets told in a really magnificent way could you even imagine being a part of something like that where like you've dedicated your life like the catholic church thing and then you start to find this stuff out and you're like it's all there in front of you it's like well, that's your, kind whole, of, that's, your whole world is rattled where you're like of, everything i believed until this point has been a lie margot you know? robbie's character isn't a she's like she's kind of a conglomeration of different people that came out against him and so they kind of take you know she's like, a composite she, character yeah, she's a composite they, yeah. character so they're using her character to kind of tell a few different stories but one of the things that she was is like her family was really into fox news like Mm -hmm. around and she's telling the story about how around holidays they all sit there and watch fox news together and it was like how they bonded yeah and so when she gets harassed by roger ailes it just shatters her entire existence yeah she's like oh this stuff that i trusted so much Mm -hmm. is being run by someone that is so terrible and there's a scene where he is asking her to like show her legs and it's so so intense and and she's so uncomfortable and it's so gross it's so gross i i just couldn't even imagine like as a man i've never been in a situation where a woman's going to be like all right now just hike your skirt up a little bit more and that's what i'm more. saying too is and that like, the way he's breathing through all of it. Oh, my God. It's one I of those things, imagine. like, when you're describing how uncomfortable it is, I'm not trying to smirk, but it's yeah. like, just the other day, I was having a conversation with, um, just, I mean, I wouldn't even call them friends, like a group of acquaintances, mm-hmm. and we are saying, like, what keeps you at a bar? What, yeah. what, what, like, if you're hanging out, it's the atmosphere, it's the this, it's the that. And the one dude was like, man, I don't, I don't even walk in a bar unless there's a hot-ass bartender back there. If it's a dude, I walk right back out. And, like, I know that's not the same thing no. as someone, like, but I'm saying, like, but that's just what women stadium. are... Like, Condi- like this is no it's not okay yeah. but when you're like it's so disgusting it's so it's like yeah people do that all the time people, you can't that's even, just the way that they are you can't even flip the script and make it as dramatic because in the early no. 90s there's no there, way early 90s there was this movie called Disclosure mm-hmm. and it was Demi Moore and Michael Douglas they're both at the top of their game it was adapted from a book and if, if the movie's 25 years old so most people know what it's about it's about a woman who sexually harasses her male employee mm-hmm. and then he you know, so, th- and that's why, but everybody laughed yeah. because the premise of the movie is, oh no, Demi Moore is forcing me to have sex with her mm-hmm. or I'll be fired. You know, Well, it's like in, uh, in comedically in Horrible Bosses when yep, he's like, yep, dude, yeah. she won't leave me alone me and dog. I don't want it. <laughs> right. And everyone's like, we're not going to take one ounce of you seriously for this, which I understand is also not That's fair. why it's a comedy. Right, yeah. right, right. But yeah, but like things like that. I mean, I've I've been very fortunate in the comedy field to not have had many run-ins like that, but I've had oh, I'm sorry. plenty of <laughs> plenty of people that have gotten gross or m- motioned to more, and I'm like, no, I'm not they've into that. And I, yeah. They've overstepped, and I've had to remove myself or things like that. Mm-hmm. And it's it seems I don't know. I'm just very glad that these things are coming to light because for a long time it was like, oh, this is how men are. You know what I mean? So well, and also Roger Ailes. First of all, he was very upfront about what Fox News was going to be. He's like, mm-hmm. I don't need journalists. I want pageant winners. I, yeah. You know, they joked about the leg cam or whatever. I need hot girls. So his being skeevy was all couched in, well, I got to see if you're going to be good for the camera. Yeah, and that's, you know? that's what they That's why I'm asking you to do pull a your, lot in the movie. show me your yeah, ass yeah. or whatever. It's a visual medium, he would say, in... So I need to see those legs. Why didn't he come and he was like an extra a, large. Why right. didn't he do like a modeling agency or something like that? Why do you have to do Fox News? Because no, he was in the he was in the news biz. Yeah. He, he was a producer here in Cleveland for a long time. He was a speechwriter, I think, for Nixon. He he had the ear of a lot of like politically connected mm-hmm. people. He was at CNN, I think, or he was. The, what's the the uh, where do they fire him uh, from in the, in the Showtime thing? CNBC or something like S- that. Something like that. Yeah, he was running CNBC. I, I think it was CNBC. And they fire him, yeah. and he starts Fox News. Mm-hmm. To sc- he's like, screw them. I'll start my own thing. Even Geraldo. and it blew up. Geraldo's in this movie, and he's who plays Geraldo? Uh, oh, let me. Oh, Tony see. Pena, doesn't he? Uh, let me see. Or Plana. Tony Plana, I think, is the actor who plays Geraldo. I don't know, but it looks just like Geraldo. And I've met Tony Geraldo. Tony Plana, I think, is I'm the like, actor. I'm like, hey! That, that's so much like Geraldo. Like, <laughs> they did such a good job with this movie. 
You know, I have never met I wonder that if man. anybody's talked to Geraldo on his show about that movie. Because he probably says it's a bunch of crap, and you know he's got skin in that game. Is yeah. it kind of cool, to, even though it's a skeevy movie, to be like, yeah, someone's playing me in a movie. I guess like, it depends on who who you are in the movie. Yeah, right. That's what what wasn't accused is. of anything, yeah. but I mean, I was just saying, like, oh yeah, my kids, you know, my character is portrayed in this movie. The guy, I remember the guy that plays Geraldo was on this show called Ugly Betty. Anybody used to watch Ugly Betty? I, I yeah, I did. Heard of it, but the dude who created it shot himself in the head. Yeah. Like, really? side. yeah. Saw that. Sad. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, yeah well, like anyway. there's so many people. Okay, the guy that played Rudy, Rudy or Bill O'Reilly was Kevin Dorf, and he's he's one of those guys that's like he's in like episodes of The Office and Parks and Rec, and like if you see him, you recognize him. What's his name? Kevin Dorf. Is he Steven's brother? No, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe. He's like, oh yeah, Ke- Kevin Dorf is like a Chicago improv guy. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't give back the turtles on the episode of The Office. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. All right. Well. So bombshell. Bombshell. I'm glad Go movies like that are getting made though. Two mm-hmm. thumbs up. But that's the thing, people. People need to see it, and people need I to mean, go see it. That's what I'm talking it. about. Like, because, that's, yeah, yeah. Like, go see that men movie. Men need to see that. Not a date movie, no. but if you want to take somebody, like, you're not gonna walk out of that and be like, "All right, let's go bang." Like, right. you're gonna walk out of that and be like, "All right, I gotta make some phone calls. I gotta apologize to some people." Right. She's yeah. gonna give you the I money back for the ticket. Yeah, yeah. Just feel like. No, but that's a movie that you can take a girl to, and she can pay for her own ticket because equality. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't know if that Showtime miniseries predating the movie is is hurting the movie though, because people, people think they already yeah, have all those. They the already whole saw story. the. Uh, it's just different people playing, I guess, you know, different characters. Spencer Garrett is the guy that played Sean Hannity. I thought it was Bo Bridges, but it's okay. someone else. But anyway, the, the casting was fantastic, and the performances were great, and and, it, and it's under two hours too. Like it's not a long movie. Like they get right to it. Yeah, it's not ma- it's not a successful movie. It cost him thirty two million dollars to make, and it's only made twenty five. So that's well, that's not good open? for them. No, uh, a couple of it's been out for like a month. Yeah. Like yeah. Been yeah. out for a while. That's one of those movies where I think everybody who's gonna see it is gonna Saw go see it, it in yeah. the first yeah weekend or so. But I think it's getting like Golden Globe nominations. Yeah, and it might have a long run because of award season because the performances were so good and. You know you're gonna you're gonna get more hype. It's gonna build, so it might if it, if it hangs around in theaters, people should go see it. I like Margot we'll Robbie in I Tanya. She, that was a great. Oh, movie. she's so good. I, I didn't I, expect much from that, and that was a frigging told you, great. That's movie. one of my top five movies. Now I, I didn't even know who Tanya Harding was before this. You didn't know who Tanya, Tanya Harding, Harding was. You're only four years younger than me. I feel like that's so crazy. But I don't. Why would I pay attention to figure skating? Like I didn't care. Nobody didn't she pay wasn't just to a figure skating. Right, that until was Tanya Harding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. beating knees and yeah, stuff. I, I didn't know not, who. Not murder. I didn't well, know not who murder, she was. But she sabotaged. Until yeah. I went on. What year was that? Like ninety six. He would have been little. Yeah. But I mean, you so still. I was like seven. Yeah. yeah. That's why I was like, I remember this. I mean, I remember my parents talking about yes. it and things like that. And as a three year old. Yeah, that's true. Have. So that's when I'm like, you're only a couple years younger than me, but I was pretty little too. So. I'm just saying, as you get older, you Might learn who people are. 94 is when you have Okay, 94. But, oh, okay. So you would have been real young, Pound Cake 2, but like, you still know who people are. When you, she was on or Dancing you, with the Stars. Or you and, just hear the name so much, I feel like. Yeah. It's used in pop culture, and it's used in, yeah. People pay more attention to her than Nancy Kerrigan. Who knows what she's doing yeah. anymore? Okay, I got a break. Uh, Cavs tickets shortly. The Knicks are going to be in town on the 20th. So if you want to take in a game at the Romo Fijo... Uh, we'll get you set up uh, shortly. 35192. Send a text. You want to watch the show, you can do that. The live stream at alancockshow.com. And you can listen anywhere on the iHeartRadio app. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free iHeartRadio app. When you go out.